want to come and... Oh, hey, hang on. Whoa. Did I put it all together? I don't know did, if I did. Did I ship that? Did I put one of those in with that? Who's this? Is that payment come through for that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it's a very good problem to have. Hello there, back in the shed. Another day and another stack of orders. Um, we've just got back from dropping off Wednesday's orders. Um, I'll pop a clip in here because I filmed what we were dropping off just before we went. So I'll pop that in now. So we're just about to drop off the next batch. So there's two Royal Mail sacks full there and this one and this lot for the couriers. Um, yeah, it's been busy, busy, busy. And we've got another 31 awaiting dispatch um, in here. So I just haven't had time to do the next uh, batch of products. We've got the pet products here. They're not on eBay yet. We need to get those sorted. Um, I really need to sit down and work out what we're doing with all the security systems. I've got a few people interested in that. Uh, I know I've got customers waiting on these um, organizer sets. Um, yeah, it's just finding time. Uh, digital scales I've had inquiries about. But that box has just sat there waiting for me to stop packaging. It is a very good problem to have that you've got that many orders that you're not finding time to do other stuff because you're just packaging. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining at all. I just really want to get all of the lines available for sale on eBay as soon as possible. And I'm just not stopping at the moment. But it hasn't slowed down. I'm gonna perch you up there. Uh, hasn't slowed down. I have the laptop here and we have um, another, this is just eBay, 34 orders and a lot of these I think are multiples. Yeah, well a few certainly. Most of this is the new stock. There are a few bits on here that are in the other office so perhaps we'll do those later. And Andrea is trying to confirm all of the private orders. It's getting very confusing. <laughs> um, we're getting messages uh, to my Instagram, to Andrew's Instagram, to Facebook um, and yes, coordinating all of that and working out what's been paid and what's going where and keeping track of it all and then keeping track of what's been shipped and what hasn't. You need to be organised and that's not my strong point. Andrea's much better at it and she is confirming all of the private sales so she'll I think be in soon and we'll pick those. Anyway I'm going to do a bit of picking and we can chat as we go. So if I start at the bottom, um, right toilet roll holders so if you saw that other video you'll have seen I'm doing the stainless steel brush toilet roll holders, self adhesive ones in packs of two and they are going quicker than I imagined they would. Uh, very happy that those are moving. Um, now these electric lint removers have been so so popular. Um, we've sold 50 on eBay and a whole stack privately. Um, I'm just going to go through and count how many we've got to go um, from eBay. Right, 14. We need 14 of these going out today. So let's grab those. Some are going um, with other products uh, and a bunch are going on their own. But as you can see, it is thinning out in here rapidly. Um, I can't remember offhand how many we started with. Um, but yes, 14. So I already have one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so that's those power banks. Um, let's see how many of those are going. <laughs> this is good viewing, I'm sure. Three, 
before I make that. Okay, so, yeah, these, these were a good line. Um, as I mentioned before, it's always a bonus when you can ship a product as a large letter. So the, po the postage is less of a consideration. Um, and yeah, if you are interested, these, these are actually packs of two. Two in here, a black and a white. Uh, I th think they're on eBay at 12 dollars um, We have done some direct sales at a tenner for these. So multi-openers, I have the box here of these. These KitchenAid things, uh, again, been really popular. Let me just get a number for those. Eight in total, more gone on eBay. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watercolor brush pens, these ones, more of the um, self-adhesive toilet roll holders, another pack of those. Watercolor pens. Oh, more. <laughs> more of these. Another pack of two. I may put the price up on those. Um, two of these self-adhesive toilet roll holders were on at 10. Well, they still are. I wanted to get some traction on that listing, get it up the rankings. Um, but I think I'm gonna edge the price up on those. Will be the plan at some point. Right, more brush pens. Luckily, we did get loads of these. Um, 60 odd, was it? Maybe more. Can't remember. So there's a few bits in here, like I said, that are up in the old office. So we'll go up there and pick those afterwards. Uh, xylophones, pack of two. Uh, done that, done that. Watercolour brush pens. And again, show you where those are so yeah as you can see we have plenty of stock of these which is good because it's a popular line I think that's it so we have a bunch of private sales like I say that Andrea was confirming what's been paid what we're still waiting on payment for um, so We'll get those done in a minute, but for now, it's that lot. A bunch more of these, and a bunch of the toilet roll holders. Excellent. So I'm going to put all of that in a crate, take that in. So I'm still doing the packaging and the packing and everything up in the other office. I don't have that set up in here as yet. Um, it is still very cold here in the UK, as I'm sure you're aware. It did get a tiny bit warmer, but not a lot. Um, so I'm still doing the, the packing in the warm. Uh, just coming out here to pick the stuff, put it all in a crate, take it in. That's the, that's the current <laughs> way of doing things. I will now quickly pop in a clip from my office and I'll pick the few bits that aren't from this haul and pop that in now. Hey, and as if by magic, here we are in my office. Right, so we have a few bits because we do sell other stuff still. Here's the stuff. There's not a whole lot of it listed, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but we have sold a Luminarch um, ashtray. Oh, we've had this for ages. I don't think it's been listed all that long, but we bought this ages ago. I'm pretty sure we picked this up in Bristol when we went down to visit Carla and we stumbled across a yard sale and picked up loads of vintage stuff. Um, so yeah, it is a new in packet 
Luminarch ashtray. Um, there really wasn't much value in it. Uh, 10 pounds plus postage on that one. And then we sold Archipel Milk Glass Brown Onion. Oh yeah, so this was on at 30 pounds plus eight pounds postage, but we did take a slightly lower offer. Uh, it's quite a big lot. Right, I think it's down here, yes. So here's the design. So it's this milk glass. Have I got the right one? I'm doubting myself now. Yes, that is it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cups, six saucers, six plates by the look of it. It's a quite a big bundle, actually still in its bubble wrap from when we moved. This came with us from Hitchin. So those are the sauces. And then we have a load of side plates or cake plates in here. So yeah, that will be a fun packing job. Um, not a great deal of value in that pattern. Uh, like I say, it was listed at 30 plus the eight pounds shipping. And we took an offer of maybe I think it was 25 uh, to get that moving. Um, right, I'll leave that there for now. So there's a John Lewis Excitable Edgar. Now we had one that we picked up in a charity shop in Norwich, and I think that one sold, and then we found another one, um, and now that one's gone. I think this one we sold for a bit less, because it's, it's kind of out of the Christmas season now, so the demand has dropped a bit. So we took an offer of £15 plus postage, so 18 50 all in. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is this guy from the John Lewis Christmas ad a few years ago. Uh, he's still worth picking up. Um, so yeah, we were happy to move him at 15 plus post. And the last order is sitting on here. There is this. This is a tiny little SanDisk uh, memory card, but it's the Wii branded one. Now I had a Wii console um, and this was sat in the little memory card slot. Always worth having a look in there. Um, and that's gone for, what was it, five pounds? Yeah, five pounds. But I actually sent the Wii to my parents. My parents are in their 70s now and they use the Wii to keep fit. They use Wii Fit on it and they try and do a, a session daily. Uh, whenever we go and visit them, we always get the Wii Fit out and play the games. And, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. But their machine packed up. And this was a machine that we bought for them way back when the Wii was in its heyday. We, we bought them a machine. This was back when we had the gaming shop. We used to run a high street gaming shop. Um, and that machine just packed up all of a sudden, but it's done pretty well. But Wii's are fairly bulletproof, so I don't know what's happened to that. Anyway, I had a console knocking around. They had the controllers, all of the leads and everything anyway, so I just sent them the, the uh, Wii. But it had that in it, so I fished that out quick. They don't have any need for a memory card. And sold it for a fiver, which I think it's what the console cost me. <laughs> um, and I still have all of the leads and stuff and I'll sell that off separately. Anyway, so that's that. Um, I will now send you back to the shed. Okay, on to Hello. private sales. Shall I perch? Do you want, do you want, uh, oh, hey, hang on. Whoa, I could actually hold and then I'll go pick when you... Okay, so I need one power bank for Lee Montgomery. Lee. Hello Lee, thank you very much. So one power bank, well one pack of two, remember there's two in there. Yeah. Thank you Lee. And then a watercolour brush set for uh, Maureen. Maureen. This for Maureen. Thank you. Um, I think you've already done Kenny's, haven't you? Have you? Because that was on one of your messages. I think so. I have payment for Kenny here, but I don't have what it's for because you were talking to him. So anyway, um, we need a laminator for Catherine. That's the last, oh no, okay. So we have one left. I thought they had all gone. They might have all gone. <laughs> um, 
an upside down laminator for, who was that, sorry, Catherine. Thank you very much. A lint remover for Judith. Okay. Some watercolour pens for B. For B? Watercolour pens, oh yeah. These same ones. For B, um, thank you. A gaming mat and a multi opener for Karen. Right. Gaming mat. These are still not on eBay. I know a few people have asked about when's that going to appear on eBay. I just need to get some decent pictures done. I uh, just haven't had a moment. A gaming mat and a what? A multi opener. Multi opener. Oh, right. These are still here. Okay, and that's off to. That's off to Karen. Karen, thank you very much. And then for Brian, he wants one power inverter and ten multi openers. Blimey, Charlie, ten um, multi openers. He was so shocked by that, made you cough. <laughs> um, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, obviously, we were able to do a cheaper rate because uh, you bought 10. Who is that again? Brian. Brian, yeah. So, thank you for that. And a power uh, thing in me, what's it? <laughs> a power, power inverter. inverter. One of those, um, which again, we were able to do cheaper because it was um, a private sale. So, that's a lovely order. Thank you, Brian. Okay. Okay. Right, so um, Patricia has ordered a watercolour brush pen set and a lint remover. Okay. More of these. And there's some tucked down here. These. Right. Oh, uh, okay. No. Are we there? Yeah, we're there. I had already written that one down. <laughs> Sorry, I've got messages all over the place so trying to bring it all together and make sure we don't miss anything or anybody is quite tricky <laughs> yeah we're trying to get systems of, of writing down lists and stuff but then it's who's paid what's been shipped yeah marking everything off um and then it gets super confusing uh, if somebody buys some stuff on ebay which is fabulous absolutely fine use the ebay store shop there it doesn't matter and then privately message and say, can I add one of these in? And then you're like, yeah. And then okay. this morning you had a moment where you were like, did I put it all together? I don't know did, if I did. Did I ship that? Did I put one of those in with that? Who's this? Is that payment come through for that? Saying, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, and then it does become confusing because I'm trying to be really organised with everything coming on an email and Instagram, but then you get messaged on Facebook as well. So yeah. then it, I don't see any of that, so I can't be organised with that. And then you've got to remember who that is, and yeah, and it's it. so. So <laughs> it would be much better if you have Instagram, message me definitely, or email. I think that those two things would be the better things to email to message us on. So those links are below: email address or my Instagram. Um, because then we can try and keep it together and you won't get confused. Keep it together, yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. But it's a very good problem to have, right? Not being able to quite cope with the amount of orders we're getting. I mean, we are coping. We're just getting confused now and again. Yes. Anyway, so I was gonna ask you, are you, are you happy with this haul now? Does it seem like a good idea? I'm very happy with this haul. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, it's been very good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always a gamble, and I said on that day when it turned up, this, this was a big investment up front, and there will be lines in this that won't go as well as others, maybe lines that we've bought too much of, but we've bought at the right price where we can sell that stuff on if we need to. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we've been pleasantly surprised, and yeah, the last few days have been manic. I think that's the word that describes yes. it. Yes, and I am very aware that people have been asking about the vintage haul, but I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet, let alone anything else. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. And I had, um, 
somebody said, oh, are you not doing vintage anymore? Are you not going charity shopping and boot sailing and, and doing the used stuff? Yes, we are. This, um, because we have this building for at least a year, I wanted to use it. And this may be the last chance I have to go big on a massive haul. So I've gone big. <laughs> because the plan still would be ideally to convert all of this space and the room through there into an Airbnb. That was the reason we bought this house with this building. But for now, I'm, yeah, I've gone big on a haul. Yeah. But yes, we are still doing the used stuff. Of we course. Just, we that, just... That's who we are. We, we love doing used and vintage. Yeah. So, yes. But I love a bit of wholesale at the same time. And if you actually watch back over the years, this is nothing new for us. Periodically, I like to go a bit crazy and buy a van load of stuff. That's what this is. This is the latest one. Anyway, we really, really need to get a move on. We've yep. got all of that to organize and ship and get ready to go out tomorrow. So yeah, anyway, hope that was fun. A bit chaotic, a bit mental as usual. Yeah. And just also to say that I know that I've been messaging people earlier on. Some people haven't paid yet. So just thank you so much for your orders if your orders come in a bit later after this video is put out. Yeah. Just thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much if you are choosing to shop with us and support what we do. It genuinely means the world to us. So thank you. And on that note, we will leave you there. Do you want to perch your hands up and we'll little, place a little video on it? If you want to carry on watching us too, click on that. <laughs> Take care. See you soon.